I'm here in the south of France for the launch of the 2019 Aston Martin DB11 Volante. Now Volante in Aston Martin speak means convertible. This car was launched last year as a coupe with a V12 engine and this convertible also has the V8 engine which is a Mercedes AMG V8 4 liter turbocharged and makes 503 horsepower. Now do you think this is the most desirable version of the DB11? I'm inclined to think so. Britain has a long history of creating drop tops with heavenly bodies and this new effort from Aston Martin is one for the books. Its perfect coke bottle proportions are accentuated by a bold sweeping shoulder line, short overhangs, beautiful detailing and forged 20 inch alloys. This Mercedes AMG Source 4 liter twin turbo V8 that kicks out 503 horsepower and 498 pound feet of twist is a marvel. Believe me, you won't be pining for the 600 horsepower V12 that's available in the coupe. Working in concert with the Brainy ZF 8 speed auto and standard limited slip differential, the V8 absolutely catapults the Volante forward from any speed, and it sounds pretty fabulous too. Aston has poached a suspension tuning guru from Lotus, and it sure shows. The Volante has a superb ride, yet there's nary a millimeter of slack in body control nor the electric steering. This is a beautifully balanced roadster that inspires confidence from the word go. Cycle through sport or sport plus modes and the car's aggression ramps up significantly, but not at the expense of civility. If you're going to spend a quarter of a million bucks on this very swift piece of rolling sculpture, you'd be hoping for a nice interior. Something in the past Aston has been known to fall flat on. But not now. It is beautifully designed, obsessively rendered and fitted with Mercedes modern command interface. Now, the tiny rear seats are best reserved for we humans or your day shopping at Tiffany's, but that's to be expected. The eight layer roof is down in 14 seconds, up in 16 seconds, can be operated remotely from the key fob, and thanks to its class leading stack height, it keeps the car's rear deck height low and allows for a useful trunk. Buying an Aston Martin used to require a few concessions. Technology was usually a little bit behind, the interiors weren't quite up to scratch for what you're paying for the cars. But this new DB11 marks a new era for Aston Martin. It's a thoroughly modern car, it's incredibly well sorted. Of course, it looks beautiful, and it's a really great car to drive. For driving.ca, I'm Peter Blakeney.